Hello guys, this is Yashwan KT. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see how to dual boot. We want to 16.04 alongside interest time. Let's begin. Okay, we have a pre-installed system here with Windows 10. So before we dual boot Ubuntu, we require some files. Go to ubuntu.com, go to the download section, click on desktop, click on the download, download icon. Okay, you can donate or you can directly go to the download. The download should start now automatically. Since I already downloaded the file, I'll stop the download. Once you download the file, it should look something like this. It's an ISO image file. It's around 1.38 GB. Okay, also need uh, a tool called Rufus for uh, creating a bootable USB pen drive. I'll provide the link in the description for the download. Okay, uh, run Rufus. Insert a pen drive mm, of minimum 4 GB size. Uh, depending on your system, select the partition type. If you are running a legacy system, select the first one if you are running a ufi system select gpt partition scheme for ufi then let the file system be default as fat 8 itself okay let the name be it's the same browse to that iso or donor and click on it select it start the process The process can take up to 10 minutes. I'll skip to the end. We'll continue from there. Hello guys, we are back. Uh, the process has been completed. You can see it here. Okay, we can we can close this window now. Uh, we need to allocate some space for Ubuntu. So let's do it. Uh, right click on the Windows icon. Go to Disk Management. Okay, you can shrink any of the drive you want. I'll be shrinking C drive. Right click. Shrink volume. Okay, enter the amount you want to shrink. Uh, I'll be shrinking around 200 GB. So, uh, it should be 204800. That's 200 GB. Click on shrink. Okay. We have got this 200 GB unallocated space, so that is where we are going to install Ubuntu. Uh, so we have all the prerequisites ready. So we can now reboot to the boot menu. Uh, different manufacturers have different BIOS key to boot into their menu. So please refer uh, to your manufacturer and then boot into the BIOS menu. So we will get back uh, in the BIOS menu. Uh, hello guys, we are back. Uh, we are in the BIOS menu. Uh, go and select the USB path. Okay, the setup has started. Uh, select the language, that's English. Click on continue. Check this box. Click on continue. Okay, in this menu, uh, select the installation type as something else. Click continue. You should enter into the partition table. Okay, select the free space that we just unallocated in uh, Windows. Click on this plus icon. Enter the size as uh, around twice the RAM of your computer. Uh, 
let's uh, let me say it's 10 GB so it's like 10,000 MB approximately use as swap area okay okay you can see that the swap area has been created here go to the free space again click on the press icon here you are on 1 to 10 MB let me say around 5 MB and use as reserved bias put area click ok Uh, okay, you can see that it has been created. Go to free space again. Click on the plus icon. Uh, here you have to rocket space for your mount point. That's your C drive. So let it be around uh, uh, 20, 50 GB. So it uh, 50 triple zero. So mount point click on this click on ok ok uh, then go to the free space click on the plus icon now uh, here you can give space for your home drive that's where your files and videos will be saved so give it around 50 GB uh, let the mount point be slash home click on ok ok once you have done this click on install now you can see the 4 partitions that we have created here click continue ok select the area you are in region I am in India so click on India then continue select the keyword I will select English US continue ok give some name uh, say give some password click continue The installation can take up to 10 to 15 minutes. Just wait for it. I will fast forward the video till the end. Uh, okay, you can see that the process has been completed. It is asking to restart the system. Click on restart now. You can see Ubuntu booting up. At this point, you can assure that you have successfully dual booted Ubuntu alongside Windows. Just log in now. Enter the username and password that you gave. The username is already there. Just enter the password. Okay, we have successfully booted into Ubuntu. So that's all, guys. Uh, this is the way to dual boot Ubuntu Alasa Windows. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any doubts, please do ask in the comment section below. Thank you.